Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I mainly do RLC uh, reviews as well as Mashbox Collector um, cars from the Mattel Creations Mattel Creations website. Um, I mainly go after the acrylic case ones. I have some carded RLC, but mainly the acrylic ones, acrylic case ones. Today's video will be on the Hot Wheels 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser Flying Tigers. This one is a fairly expensive one model now, um, which is unfortunate because it's such a nice model. Um, but you know, here's the outside of the box, just a plain white box like all the other RLCs are um, white. Um, the slipcase for this is an uh, ammo can, um, a patina on the ammo can, let's see hot wheels in there, the latch for the um, ammo can, if you want to uh, pause it to read the back, go ahead, um, you know, nice um, design on this, it's first um, one that's actually got a weather look that I've got. This is the acrylic case. It's got hot wheel collectors. As well as um 55 Chevy Bell and Gasser. With more like olive drab colour. Um this this model this particular model is numbered as well. It is um uh, oops. All out of 12,000, mine's 11,440. I originally just picked this up. Um, I still have to, I have to, un, I have to screw it back to the base. Um, I unscrewed it because um, Hot Wheels screws the screws on so tight, and these cheap, are, well, these screws are cheap. Um, starting off the front, got the um, red bottle at the front. Headlights, um, you can see the radiator, um, nice engine. See all the carburetors and stuff, and the side pipes. It's actually a beautiful model. Um, as I said, this is quite an expensive model as well now, which is a shame. Um, I was just lucky that I could have I was in the position to buy this, was able to buy it and afford it. Um, um, if you're not familiar with um, this particular livery, it's based on a World War II fighter plane that you can see on the back of the um, slipcase. But that's the look they're going for on here. Um, it's like uh, Spectre Flame Green, or Spectre Flame Olive, olive I mean. Got the um, tiger teeth or shark teeth, um, but in detail underneath it. Um, the only reason I don't have, um, I don't take the cars off the bases is that I'm, um, I might not, I think I might not be able to get it back on, so I'm not going to risk it. With all the sponsors, Albrock. Bell, B and M, and Holly equipment. But Firestone tires, wide rear tires, and skinny front ones, of course. Well, somewhat skinny. I've um, got Flying Tigers license plate, California. Um, the person I had got this from was obviously touched it without having something on their hands. Absolutely stunning one. Um, I didn't really never thought I'd actually own this. Um, because it's, it's this is one casting that like or oh, one release from Hot Wheels RLC that not really many people actually sell. You know, like it that much. I'm not sure what that mark is there, but. As I was saying, this is one that hardly anyone actually wants to get rid of, or wants to sell, let go of. Um, because, as everyone in Hot Wheels knows, that the, um, 
The 55 casting, 55 of gaso casting is a popular one and a favourite of many. Um, but I never actually thought I would actually own it. Um, I had help getting this as well. Um, so I'm appreciative of the person who helped me. Um, this one's like going for like slightly under 200 US. Um, I paid way more on my currency, but um, oh well. I actually enjoy having the in my collection now. Um, got like a or a flat black roof. Um, hopefully, I can do a video of the um, the eighty nine Nissan seven hundred and twenty hard body. I have one of them coming. Um, so hopefully by the end of the year, near near by the end of the year, I'll have a review of that out. Um, just thought I'd do a video of this. It's absolutely stunning. If you do see this in person and you are able to afford to get it or afford to buy it, please, please get it because not only this will go up in price, even more. It is a beautiful car, as well as it's numbered. Um, because they don't really number RC cars now anymore. Um, and that's why people like. Um, that's why people and I like having the cars numbered. It seems like a more of a, a rarity, if you will. Um, but I digress. Safety's stunning. I've got um, tan interior. Oh, we're seeing it's tan. I've got crew. Uh, it could be grey. I think it's grey. It's hard to tell because the windows are smoky. But got the um, drag bars on the bottom. Supports, man. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please want to subscribe. Um, put your thoughts in the comments down below of this particular release um, and the casting. Not really a fan. I'm not really a fan much of gases, but. Um, when this one came up, I knew I had to try and get it, and I succeeded, of course, as you can see here. Um, but absolutely, absolutely stunning color. Um, I would, if you're just getting you into LLC and this is your first time seeing um, an LLC video, and possibly won't be, but um, or one of my videos, I would recommend getting like a pair of like white gloves. Um, you know, like this. I found these gloves at a costume store um, because I re re would recommend getting wearing white gloves, um, especially if you're going to touch these or RC models. Um, but it has the Spectre Flame paint because the Spectre Flame paint um, really likes to show off fingerprints. So that's just a word of an FYI. Um, well, until next time, have a great day. Keep collecting some hunt flows. RLCs or any other cast or other release of Hot Wheels or Die Cars you would like to get in your collection. Until next time, peace.